Hey everyone, it's Gary House, the Outdoor Cook. Today we're cooking on the Beast Grill. Cedar planked meatloaf with a couple cool twists, some beautiful fresh tomatoes that I'm cooking on a cedar plank also, and new red potatoes, roasted. Couple new toys from my friends, all on the Cooking Everything Outdoor show. everything outdoors show i hope you try this at home so cedar plank cooking you know we've talked about this before um, these are beautiful cedar planks this particular one uh, has holes in it and what i'm going to do with that is i'm going to stuff garlic in there and then our meatloaf is going to go on on top of this so that's going to add a little bit of a unique flavor uh, the second thing is is that i'm using ground turkey Man, not the most flavorful thing in a meatloaf. So I'm adding some standard ingredients. But to kick it up a bit, I am going to insert some chorizo in the middle of it. That's pork chorizo. And then I'm going to put a bacon weave over the top of my meatloaf. And I'm gonna smother it with uh, barbecue sauce. And then we're cooking it on a cedar plank. So first thing I have to do is get the cooking side of the cedar plank heat it up. So let's get that on the grill. I'm going to put it directly over the charcoal briquettes and that's going to go for just uh, yeah, maybe five minutes. Probably won't be much longer than that. Make sure that you have a bottle of water around when you do this. Cedar planks can catch on fire. That's not the end of the world. Typically it will burn your food too. Hey, consider yourself warned. Okay, let's get this started. <clears throat> I have 1.4 pounds of ground turkey that we're going to be using. Before I toss that in the bowl, I'm going to get my basic ingredients going. So, two eggs. Let's scramble those up just a bit. Then I'm going to add my other goodies. Oh, maybe a third of a cup, maybe a half a cup of um, basically diced red bell pepper. Quarter cup dried parsley. A tablespoon of black coarse ground pepper. A tablespoon of garlic salt and it also it's a um, it's a Lowry seasoned garden salt or excuse me a garlic salt with parsley maybe a teaspoon of minced garlic good cup of um, diced onion yellow and just a little over a cup of breadcrumbs. To that, I'm gonna be adding my ground turkey. And we need to mix that up. You really, with ground turkey, you've gotta get some flavor into this because it doesn't have a lot. Uh, in my opinion. Could you use ground beef? Yeah, most of you will, and that's okay. I'm around here. I'm not going to get this meatloaf eaten if it doesn't, uh, if it has beef in it, just the way it is. So get this mixed up really good. So it's all blended together, and you can just see by how that's looking that it is going to be one flavorful dish. Guess what? Not done yet. So 
So I'm going to be using um, Allegro Original Barbecue Sauce, in and out. So let's get this bad boy open. And I want at least two tablespoons of barbecue sauce in there. That could be three. But it's so good. Who's count? I don't want it too moist. But I do want that flavor. Okay, you can see what we got going on now. So that is just about ready to roll up and go to phase two. Let's take this and start forming it up. I have here nine ounces of pork chorizo and we're going to put that right in the center. Let's get this out. And, you know, we're going to make a, a pretty significant um, chunk of meatloaf here. But I want to flatten it out as if um, making bread, if you will, or a big chunk of heavy dough. Because the chorizo is going to go right in the middle of this. So let's get this opened up. Blech. And that should come out as simple as that. That's what I'm looking for. So now what we need to do is, is mold um, the turkey meatloaf over and around this to seal it in. One big giant. Stuffed meatloaf. Make it as pretty as that. A little messy. So what's next? We need to take our cedar plank out that we were heating up. And I'm going to uh, Take the cooked side or the burnt side of the cedar plank and we'll flip it over. I'm going to put some olive oil on the surface so the meatloaf doesn't stick. And I'm going to put some garlic in there. Then we're going to put more barbecue sauce and then our bacon weave. So here's our cedar plank. Uh, you can see the holes in it. I've basically burnt or preheated this side. So I need to coat it with olive oil. And that's just a keep it all from sticking. And actually, if I had a half a lick of scents, I would get something under that to not stain the table. Go figure. Okay, so let's get this coated. All right, so Olive oil's on there. Now we need to get our garlic cloves, and I'm just going to insert those in the hole there. And as that's cooking and smoking up, that's going to add some extra flavor. So now to transfer. Our meatloaf onto the plank. Not sure what the best alternative is. Let's take a look at that. Turn it upside down. 
and give it a flip. What do you think? Not bad. Okay, so let's mount this up a little bit more. That is one chunk of meatloaf. Now, turkey loaf for those of you that want to be precise. I'm going to get it fairly uniform thickness so as it cooks, um, it will cook evenly. All right, so. Barbecue sauce, more. Let's get this on there. Oh yeah. Nice, thick, spicy Allegro barbecue sauce. that on there. I might need a little bit more. So, bacon time. What I have is some applewood smoked bacon. I just picked up from the meat counter. I'm going to need three long strips and uh, one, two, three, four, maybe six short strips. Okay. So let's get this laid out. One, two, three. Now to do some weaving. One, and we're just going to weave those back and forth in there. because we can. It really looks pretty cool. It's gonna add a lot more flavor to this. And in fact, I'm, I am sure by the time all this is done, it's gonna be an overdose of flavors and tastes. It's just gonna put it uh, over the top, if you will. One more piece, look at that perfect count. That is it, my friends. That's going in the beast. I'll be in there for about 250, 250 degrees. I'll be using a combination of um, coconut charcoal. Not a combination. I will be using coconut charcoal um, strictly as my heat source. I'm not really smoking this at all. I am going to have so much flavor in here uh, that uh, I don't really think I need to add um, smoke to it. I, I think traditionally uh, you barbecuers would probably want to smoke it and for as long as you want it till it's done. You know I'm more of a grill cue kind of guy and that's what we're doing. So I'm going to pop that in there. I'll uh, get a temperature probe in there and I want to make sure that hits a 165 degrees internal temperature before I uh, pull it. And next, we're going to get our roasted red, pota red potatoes going. Let's get our 
new red potatoes going. We're going to roast those on the beast. Simple, simple, simple. Um, I'm going to be using a garlic pepper rub from My Spice Sage. Another one of my friends. A little bit of olive oil. That's it. Simple, simple, simple. So, all I want to do is take and just run a cut around these. Just like that. So we'll do this real fast. Leaving some of the red skin on there. You could really season these up any way that you want, depending on the flavor of your meal that you're having. If I'm using chorizo in my meatloaf, I could probably put a little uh, bit of a cumin rub on this. But I'm more of a garlic barbecue theme going, and that's going to be consistent with my plank cooked tomatoes too. So let's get these in the bag. We'll add a little bit of olive oil, maybe a tablespoon. And then my rub will go in and about a tablespoon of this also should be just enough to coat everything up really good. Now that they're all coated, we're going to put them on the beast. Let's put these on. Looking good. Okay, we've been cooking for almost uh, two hours. The meatloaf is at um, about 160, so we're real close to pulling it off. I'm just making sure that the uh, chorizo inside is, because um, it's pork, it's at 165. I don't want to make any mistakes here. Um, so it's a great time to put the tomatoes on. So I've preheated up my plank and we're going to take a peek at uh, where we're at on this bad boy. So that is looking really good. Um, our potatoes are nice and soft, our roasted red potatoes. Our uh, meatloaf is just about done. I think I would like to see the bacon done a little bit more on the top, but it's probably not going to happen in this cook. Um, here's our plank for our tomatoes. So let's get this off and we'll oil it up and cut some tomatoes and get ready for this part of the cook. So I have my cedar plank all heated up, but toasty. We've got a couple beautiful tomatoes here, a, a yellow tomato and a nice big um, beef steak. Well, maybe not a beef steak, but a nice big red tomato. We're going to slice those up and lay them on the plank, some seasoning, and I'm um, going to have a real nice grill here. So let's get some olive oil on our plank, just so it doesn't stick. And give these a cut here. I need to core these out a little bit. And do I bring my small knife to do it? No, of course not. Let's get this bad boy out of there. Okay, nice little butcher's job there. Give me some slices. Pretty good slices, quarter inch slices. That 
It is beautiful. I love these yellow tomatoes because they don't have a lot of acid in them. They have a lot of flavor. We're going to add a little bit of smokiness. And again, some of our garlic pepper um, rub from My Spice Sage. So let's get these coated up real quick here. How am I going to get them all on the plank? I have absolutely no idea. We'll get a little olive oil on these. I'm going to need some more here. So sprinkling some herbs, some rub. Give it some nice big garlic flakes in there. Okay, let's see how many we can get on here. Let's do it this way. Maybe six. Nah, I get eight slices on there. We can do this. Use up the last of my olive oil. Put a little bit more oil on here, just so those that rub can stick to it. Wow, that looks good. Okay, seasoned up the way I like it. Now we're going to put them on the beast. Yeah, I'm gonna set it right on my coals. Cook that up. Just a few more minutes and dinner will be served. We're done. Let's check this out. So, cedar planked, bacon, weave, Turkey, chorizo, barbecue, meatloaf, cooked on a plank. Big title, long name. I'll figure out how to shorten it up. Got some roasted red roasted red potatoes. And cedar planked summer vegetables, i.e. specifically tomatoes. Just beautiful. Let's plate some of this up and uh, see how we did. Meatloaf. I'm going to cut a wedge off this here. And that is juicy. I'm liking that. And a couple of potatoes off here. Couple beautiful tomatoes. Mm. Now that is looking good. Can't wait to try it. Hey, this is Gary House the Outdoor Cook. We did it all on the Beast Grill from my friends at Allegro. My Spice Age. Grilling Planks Superstore. And everybody else. But first and foremost, I want to thank my sponsors, Camp Chef, for making all this happen. Appreciate it. Let's see you guys next time.